Praise God, praise God. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that God is just doing things that you never thought. But I, I want to talk to you about something that God was actually putting on my heart, my mind, my body, and my soul. So go ahead and please press press tag and share button. Um, this is what God was saying. You know, when you start a new year, everybody do the same old thing. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. A new year resolution. You know some church is going to go on a 21-day fast, right? Come on, somebody, hallelujah, as if the rest of the, the, the time you don't need to fast. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So God was saying, it's not about a new you. It's not even about a new year. It's about are you going to truly be obedient to his will and his way? Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let me tell you something. A lot of people don't understand how you get a heavy anointing. The heavy anointing comes with sacrifice. It must be a sacrifice. Sacrifice of your life, your will, and your way. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. That means that I can't do what I want to do. I can't go where I want to go. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let's be real. When that temptation comes, that means I got to rise above it. I got to run if I got to do a Joseph number. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. So my question this year is, are you truly going to serve God or your flesh? Because the world, the world, even the church right now, is focusing on materialistic things, are focusing on platforms, brands. Y'all know I've been saying that because that's what's been in my spirit to say that. Just focusing on everything but God. Don't y'all see? Let me tell y'all something. And I'm so serious. I was in Walmart, and one of the workers was telling me how that I know I used to be an accountant for Walmart, in case y'all didn't know, okay? And that was in 2006, 7 uh, in California. Well, long story short, we actually used to, you know, bring their tills out to them and everything and count it or they'll come in the office. Well, this worker was telling me today that now they have to place their hand on some kind of whatever monitor and they get the cash out like that. Y'all don't see what I'm saying? They ushering in slowly but surely. They got to put their hand on the computer or whatever and then it identifies them. Y'all know what I'm saying, huh? Mark of the beast is coming because that's the way you're going that's the way it's going to come anyway. To where that chip is going to go in your hand or your forehead and, and that's the only way you're going to be able to buy or sell. What am I going with this? A lot of you are not prepared. And I think, and ain't no thinking. I know that's why God is allowing it to be a slow ushering in of new world order. Trust me, they, they probably would have did it yesterday if they could. God is trying to get the body of Christ to get on board. God is trying to tell the body of Christ, hey, you guys worrying about the wrong thing. You're not ready mentally and spiritually and definitely not emotionally because everybody's on that grind we have we and i'm gonna say it like this we have gotten like the world because i'm part of the body of christ too we have gotten like the world we so busy chasing dollars not not that i'm about to separate myself from because i don't do that so busy chasing everything that's not of god and the sad part is it's coming y'all don't see how heavy it's getting the antichrist antichrist means against christ you guys don't see what's happening, how the evil is protruding in every faucet of, of on your job, in your home, in the streets, even at church. Come on, somebody, in nursing homes. They're fighting in nursing homes now. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I was talking to, ministering to somebody tonight. You can't beat this with a gun. You can't beat this with a knife. You can't beat this with all the other weapons. It has to be a powerful prayer life, honey. Because that's evil. We're talking about a supernatural. As a matter of fact, Ephesians tells us it, it, we're wrestling against what? It's not flesh and blood, but wickedness in high places. That means from the, from the top to the bottom. You guys don't understand what's happening? That means get your prayer life together. That means start, start really being obedient. Sacrificing. You know you shouldn't go some places. You know you shouldn't do some things. You know you shouldn't say some things. Let's be real. Oh, this one going to really hit your home. You shouldn't be with some people. Oh, some of you have married some people you was only supposed to be with for a season. As a matter of fact, I'm going here. Baby, that was your assignment, but you married it. Mm. You didn't marry your assignment, and now you don't wonder, you wonder why you're catching hell. I'm just being real with you. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So it's time to get back to the basics, the biblical application. And I'm going to tell you something else, too. Y'all know this Saturday, I'm starting, I'm having the grand opening of the church. I mean, it ain't no big thing to me, grand opening. But I'm excited because I'm not coming like most people are coming. And I got to tell you what thus said the Lord. I'm not going to be preaching like y'all think. I'm going to be teaching. 
God say too many preaching. Mm, Y'all ain't ready for me tonight. God say too many preaching and not teaching. I'm going to teach you the word of God. I'm going to teach you how to stand in God. I'm going to teach you how to be girded in God. I'm going to teach you how to pray to God. I'm going to teach you how to walk in the spirit. I'm going to teach you how to read your Bible. I'm going to teach you. Hallelujah. We, we didn't heard enough preaching to, to doomsday, truth be told. Everybody want to preach. And, and did you know I could do a Baptist preacher too? What? <laughs> you think it's a game? <laughs> but I'm not going to hurt my throat. I'm going to tell you that right now. That hurt. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to teach you how to stand. I'm going to teach you at 3, 4 o'clock in the morning when the enemy is trying to hit your head, making you go around the corner to do what you know that you shouldn't do. I'm going to teach you how to say, no devil, not tonight. I'm going to win. And every day you got to win. That's what I'm going to teach you. Teach you how to be strong, have a strong foundation in the Lord. Enough preaching. We can preach till we blew in the face. And guess what? You know what y'all going to wake walk away with? Oh, apostle sounded good. Oh, she did that. Baby, I don't want you to glorify me. I want you to be strong enough for when this stuff comes because it's coming. Whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, it's coming. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, it's really here. It's, a, it's, a, it's soft, but it's here. So I'm praying that it's not just about a New Year's resolution. It's not just about a new you. Am I going to be obedient to God all the way? Oh, come on. Some some of you know what I'm talking about. He, you know you with this man that you probably shouldn't be with, but he's so doggone fine. Come on, somebody. I miss somebody. Kool-Aid. And vice versa. Some of you men, you know that's not your wife. I know she got 34, 26, 36. Ow! I know what time it is. <laughs> you learn, better learn how to sacrifice. You better learn how to walk away, Joseph. You better, you better not die in that babe, David. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going to go here. I was listening to, actually put it on Facebook, a powerful sermon by Eddie Long. And it hurt my heart. It really hurt my heart. You know, Y'all know how powerful that man was? See, I was there in the 70s and the 80s, so y'all can't tell me nothing about Bishop Eddie Long. That man, that man was, that man, whoo, that was the power, honey. And that's why the devil came after him. Hmm. Y'all don't know. Let me tell you something. That's why I go through hell. People, people sometimes think, I don't know what they be thinking, but let me tell you. When you have a little anointing, all of hell is assigned to you. It's like they come out of nowhere. Especially with temptation, trying to make you fall. Y'all know how many men come to me? I am your husband. I didn't got to the point where, you know what? God, me and God got something. We, we got something to where I'm going to know. Because I, I'm not falling for that one. And some of you will lose your anointing over. Don't play it with me. Y'all don't see what they're doing. Oh, I'm going here today, just like the gospel artists, and I'm just being real. Y'all really think them secular artists is just wanting to pair and team up with them? We're in a season where the enemy thinks to wear out the saints, just like Daniel talk about. We're in a season where the enemy thinks to taint the saints, because he knows if he taints you, then you ain't got no power. Oh, hallelujah to his name. I will refuse to get tainted. I will refuse to get devoured. I will refuse to let the enemy win. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, you don't hear what I'm saying? And he does it because he knows that if you get stripped of your power, you lose your anointing. If you lose your anointing, case in point, let's be honest. And I'm not throwing slams because y'all love to say that. I'm telling the truth. Y'all don't notice when a person, they was high up there and they lose their anointing? You know how hard they try to get it back? No, don't act like y'all don't know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about a, lot of, a couple of them. They'll never get it back, God say. Because they should have honored it and they should have protected it. Mm, hallelujah. I'm preaching. They should have protected it. That's your baby. God has gifted you and you're supposed to protect that baby. I don't care who come or what come. You're supposed to protect that baby to the end, honey. I don't care if it's a mother, father, sister, brother, husband, wife, cousin, lover. You're supposed to say, hey, get out the way. Because ain't nothing coming between me and my Lord, my God. Hallelujah. That's what the enemy is doing. The enemy, the enemy is, is, this is an orange pen. Very good concept. He dangling that carrot. You know you want it. You know you want it. And some of you know what you do. You, you, you didn't even think about it. And then when you get it in your hand and it start tingling, and that mess come and it do come. Then you start, oh my God, what have I done? Why have I done that? It's too late now. Now you got to ask God to get you up out of there. If you don't lie about it. Because some of you are lie, you're, you're hide, you're lie. Nothing happened. And, and everybody could see that. Because, okay, here's the deal. When you don't have the anointing, it's almost like a dark tint comes over you. And one thing I couldn't, <laughs> when I was trying to play when I first started, I never understood how old people knew my business. The anointing tells on you. 
Y'all ain't ready for me. Wisdom and discernment. I can look at somebody, and that's not judging or condemnation. I can see what's happening. Come on, some of you can see me. Let's be real. And it doesn't matter if you're through Facebook. The spirit, the spirit, the spirit is stronger than the flesh. The spirit see before the flesh. The spirit know before the flesh. The spirit touch before the flesh. The spirit is heavy. Hallelujah to his name. But we got a church that don't want the spirit no more. Come on, somebody. This is the great falling away. Y'all don't see what's happening? And so I say to the ones that are standing, I salute you. Stand strong with tears in your eyes, with fears, with doubts. And know that God should surely do what he has called and He what he has said. I don't care what nobody said. I don't care what it look like. You stand strong. I'm a living witness. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I refuse to lose. Oh, come on, somebody. Right there in the car. I refuse to lose. And I don't care what you do. I don't care what you got planned for me. Because my Bible says that the weapon may form, but it ain't going to prosper. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to his name. So I pray that y'all stay strong in the Lord. Go ahead, tag, and share this. Because I, I noticed something. Every time I, well, not every time, but most of the time I come up on here. Facebook been doing all kind of stuff. And I know why, and I don't mind telling y'all. Ooh, my anointing getting so heavy. Mm, I ain't felt like this since 1996. Somebody in trouble. And I think it's the kingdom of darkness. I feel that thing. I feel that thing. I feel that thing. Oh, and I'm losing weight. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I'm getting in chains. I feel like I'm training, training, training. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Hallelujah to his name. Oh, somebody's in trouble. Oh, hallelujah. Because I come and I ain't taking no prisoners, baby. Hallelujah to his name. I can feel it. I can feel it. You know how you can feel it? I feel it. There's something getting unleashed in me. Hallelujah to his name. And I'm going to let it happen. And if any, if any got to go, go. If he got to go, go. If she got to go, go. If they got to go, go. Hallelujah. Because nothing should separate me from the love of Christ. Nobody playing? So God bless you. I love you in the Lord. And y'all know what time it is. Roll out soldiers for that is who you are. Mm.